and it's Kanye West. He's in hot water again, this time for comments he made about slavery. Listen. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? Okie doke. We know Kanye West, much like the president, knows how to drum up controversy, interest, and attention. But is this one going to be too far? It is. And he's establishing himself as the, tr as the president's uh, personal minstrel. And he ought to be ashamed of himself. Too many young people. He's gone farther than Trump. President Trump has never said no, slavery no. is a choice. No, I'm not saying he's. I'm not I saying mean, Trump. Trump no, I'm not saying Trump has said that. I'm saying he's his personal minstrel. You know, look at my black, my African American friend. That's what he's doing, and it's embarrassing. We have an urgency today uh, to educate and teach all young people that what he is saying is wrong. I don't care how popular he is. I don't care how many people love his music. That there needs to be an outcry because that that's the same thing as a Holocaust denier. That's the, that, just the same type of thing. Uh, that also enables people to continue to do the things to us that is being done today. Starbucks, the Waffle House, Shakisha Clemens, uh, um, the, the Somali immigrant sister who was killed by the police the other night in Georgia, uh, Shukri Ali Said, Stefan Clark. What happened is all of that stuff is what enables people to do that. And there needs to be a national outcry. Um, you people who are illiterate can't help it. They weren't educated. They weren't given that opportunity. Kanye but you, has but every you, but to be illiterate, Stephanie, is a sin. That's what he and Trump have in common. Illiterate is not is not whether you know how to read. You know how to read. You just choose not to. Trump doesn't read a thing. We were just talking about that just now. He doesn't he doesn't read anything. Kanye doesn't read anything, and he needs to go back to school. Somebody needs to take him the autobiography of Malcolm X this morning, sit him down somewhere, and make him read it.